In this video, I will be covering how to invoke a stored procedure in a Canvas app using plugins in PowerFX. SQL Store procedures execute one or more transactions used to execute complex processes. These processes can accept inputs, provide statements that perform operations on the inputs, and produce an output or return value. Before now, these would have to be executed outside of the app, possibly by an IT department, and then the data would have to be brought into Dataverse through an import. Using the Dataverse plugin wizard, it's easy to create a plugin that will use a connection to invoke a SQL Store procedure, pass the inputs, and then be notified when the process is complete. So now let's create a low-code plugin for a stored procedure. In the Power Apps Maker portal, select Dataverse Accelerator in the Apps menu. In the Dataverse Accelerator, click on New Plugin in the Instant Plugins box. Name your plugin, and also you can provide a description if you like. Click Advanced Options, and this will give us the wizard that we can use to speed up creation. You'll be presented with a connection screen. Any SQL connection that you already have configured for your organization will appear here. If the connection you need for your stored procedure is present, you can select it and move on. Otherwise, click on New Connection or Add Connection to create a new connection. After selecting your connection and clicking Next, a list of available SQL actions are provided. This allows you to pick which SQL action you want to use for your plugin. In this case, we're using Execute Stored Procedure. Select the action and click Next. In the provided dropdowns, now select the values for server name and database name. These can be left as default. And then procedure name will provide you a list of all stored procedures available on the database that you have selected. Select the procedure you wish to use. After you select your procedure, a list of input values will be presented. These are the input values that are available to the stored procedure. You can configure these to use either dynamic values for every invocation, or you can enter a static value to use for every invocation. After completing all of the fields, the PowerFX formula to invoke the procedure is generated. Once that's done, click Next. You'll be provided a review page that will show you the plugin that you're about to create for the stored procedure. If everything looks correct, click Create. And now your plugin is created. Next, you'll be taken to the plugin page, which will show you the name of the plugin you just created. Click Next. And here you'll see a list of all of the inputs that were set up, as well as their data types. You can also see the PowerFX formula that will be used to invoke the stored procedure. Now click Next. Now you can test your plugin by putting data into the input parameters and validating that you have a successful completion of the stored procedure. Your stored procedure plugin is now ready to use. In the next video, we will show an example of how to add an invocation button to a Canvas app. Check out our other Dataverse videos online for more content.